Shalom. <clears throat> Giving all praises to my Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh. By Yashem, Yahweh Shah. By Yashem, Makaha Pradash. Double honor to the apostles and elders that we well. Peace and many salutations to Yahweh. It's toiling and it's truth. Uh, brother just sent this. Um, this is a. Uh, Going into how China wants to edit uh, passages in the Bible. Uh, and, uh, you know, this shows you that, you know, Moab, which uh, Moab is so called uh, uh, Chinese, you know, is taken after the customs of Esau, Edom. We know that Moab. Uh, you know, is are the Chinese because prophetically speaking, they are doing you know uh, the things that Moab is said to do in the scriptures um, because they have taken on the customs of Babylon the Great. We know that Babylon the Great is. Uh, America in the scriptures Babylon the Great uh, is said to be destroyed but before that you know this uh, would be known by its various um, pacts that it has with other nations and if, more importantly the influence that it has on other nations and now we in a lot of times we see that uh, we see that that uh that uh, China or the Chinese is the same has the same customs as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Uh, it's the same customs as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Um. These are one of the uh, countries that's actually going to turn against, you know, Babylon the Great. You know, and it's very interesting that China, um, China holds uh, the same ideologies of Babylon the Great, but. Yet it has a disdain for Babylon the Great. And you know, as you can see, in one of these examples of, you know, on your on your uh, screen here, you can see it in, in a clear example. Now you have the uh, W E E F, the World Economic Forum, going on and you know, one of the things that they're pushing is the changing of the scriptures. China is doing the same thing, you know, yet it's changing the Bible to be anti-Western uh, culture. But yet they're falling after Western culture, you know what I'm saying? They're falling after the ways of the uh, the Idumians, you know, with uh, uh, with perverting the scriptures. So on your screen, it says China edits Bible passages. It says one, one, one and this is according to Fox News, it says, uh, that shall not, that shall have no other gods before me. And it says, edit to res, uh, resolutely guard against the infiltration of Western I ideology. So they're changing the Bible to say that. Yet, <laughs> within them changing the Bible, you know, they still, they're, they're adapting the progressive ways of, you know, are the perverse ways progressive? I say that, you know, uh, loosely, you know, or interchangeably with perverse, you know, because all the things that are so called progressive now is really contrary to the scriptures. You know, they say it's progressive to, you know, embrace the uh, alphabet community, it's progressive to, you know, allow abortion, things of that nature. Well, all those things, so called progressive, I should say that. All those things are against the scriptures. And this is what Babylon the Great is taking on.
Oh, well, China is taking on, you know, they're taking on the customs of Babylon the Great. Okay. And because of that, they are going to be destroyed by the Heavenly Father. Let me get a video for you guys. Now, on through this year, China has been scrutinized and criticized by the international community for detention of Muslims. But that has not deterred Xi Jinping. He now wants to rewrite the Bible and the Quran. You heard that right. China makes everything, and that includes religious texts. China publishes the highest number of copies of the Bible, and now it wants to edit them as well. Now, you could call this censorship of religious texts. You could call this meddling in religious affairs. China plans to do it. The reports say that China wants to translate religious books. Government censors will go through them. And anything undesirable, anything that does not confirm to the communist ideology, believe it or not, will also be edited out of the religious texts. Now China calls this a religious system with Chinese characteristics. The reports say that a group of 16 experts has been appointed for this purpose, that the order to edit religious... Now, you see how it says, um, you know, communist ideologies... That that's that's nothing but left hand or left wing, you know what I'm saying, uh ideologies that come from the West, that comes from uh Europeans, the Adumians. You see that? So they're saying that they're, you know, um, you know, coming with their own you know, ways and things of that nature. But in fact, they're just taking on the ways of Babylon, man. But with the ways of, you know, chiefly Babylon or the ways of the Adumians. Okay. This is an indicator of who Moab is in the scriptures. Now let's get to, let's get to the scriptures. Okay. Now it says second edges 15 and 46 and thou Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon and are the glory of her person. Woe be unto thee that thou wench, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. You see that? So Asia's hope is in Babylon and within them having hope in the, the ways of the Idumians, they have taken on the customs of the Idumians. Okay? So if, because of that, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? Verse 47. Woe be unto thee, thou wrench, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that thy, they may please and glory in thy lovers. Right? So... What does that mean? Well, these women have, if you look in uh, in Asia, the, the Asians, you know, dress like the Idumeans, you know. Uh, they mimic uh, Western uh, pop culture, like, like, uh, like it unto the West. In fact, as I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this one uh, famous... Uh, Boy band group, I forget their name, man. But they was recently disbanded. But you listen to some of their music, man. They sound like some, uh, like some stuff that came out in the nineties, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it actually jams. You know, well, they just mimic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, pop culture that came out in the early two thousand, late nineties. You know what I'm saying? Or even I would dare say the eighties. You know what I'm saying? With uh, new kids on the block and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when I was coming up, we had NSYNC and, uh, you know, uh, forget the other cats. That's the one that's coming to mind. But they're taking on these customs, and, you know, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's popular now. Even if you look at uh, um, in certain movies that are coming out. More and more, you're starting to see the uh, the uh, not the influence per se, but the hold on, brothers, not the influence, but the presence of you know uh, Asians in you know uh, 
film and things of that nature. You know, they're actually coming out with a another uh, like girls uh, field, well, not field trip, but girls, you know, uh, trip. But it's going to be nothing but Asians. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be in the uh, the casting. And that's nothing. That's, that's what Jake has already done. You know, my say all that to say this to take it on the ways of of uh, Babylon the Great, and you can see it within you know the pop culture and the women. Okay, um, back to it, the middle of verse forty-seven, uh, that they might please and glory in thy lovers. The lovers is Babylon the Great, or the or really, if you want to get to nitty gritty, the Idumeans. Which have always desired to commit hoarding with thee. So they've always had a, a, a close knit relationship with each other. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and evictions. And you see that with the whole trans uh, human uh, movement, you know, the, the, the Asians, okay, the, the Moabites, the Ammonites are big in the trans human uh movement of fusing man and uh machine you know these you know, i perceive that these guys are gonna be some of the first people that's gonna uh, you know widely adopt you know the uh motb okay the uh, country that has already adopted the motb is uh sweden you better believe that moab has you know uh certain plans in place to um, chip the masses, okay? All right? Therefore, saith the Most High, I will bring plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And the glory of thy power shall be dried up as a flower. The heat shall arise that is sent over thee, Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes and at, as one chastened with wounds so that the mighty and, and lovers shall not be able to receive thee. Would I with jealousy have so proceeded against thee, said, said the Lord, if thou hast, hast not always slain my chosen exalted the strokes of thy hands and, and saying over the dead, when thou was drunken, sent forth the beauty of thy countenance. That's right. So Moab has had their hand in destroying us and how so well with the certain um the certain uh you know products that it sells us that's detrimental to us, especially when it comes to food. You know, selling us uh subpar uh products in you know in these various neighborhoods you know i go into this often you know they're considered one of the uh middleman minorities um that you agree about the scriptures of middleman minorities basically a uh minority group that acts like a buffer between the upper class and the lower class and so when you go through to these so these so-called communities the so-called Negro Latino and Native American communities who's selling, you know, our people, these various products, you know, um, subpar food with buffets and, um, you know, you know, in areas that are food deserts, you go to, to the dang gas station, who owns it? Well, a lot of the most, most times it's, it's Asians. Aka the Moabites, okay, Ammonites, okay, that's getting rich off of selling our uh, people poison, okay, the number one importer or exporter of goods is who China, and some uh, things that they export is uh, to the people is food. Okay, not only food, but products that is detrimental to until you in the long run. Certain um, things that sold on to us have certain chemicals that's 
very detrimental to your skin and causes cancer and things of that nature. They sold them to us, okay? All right. Now what he's trying to do is pervert the scriptures, okay? And we know by the scriptures that anybody who does that is going to be cursed, all right? Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And we just name various plagues that's going to happen to the Moabites for them. Adding on to the scriptures or taking away from the scriptures, man. Okay, it's quite simple. Most people don't believe in in the Most High, right? And so the Most High is going to show that side of him that people don't want to see that Alasaja. Okay, and people are taking hold of this book. They have no place taking hold of this book, perverting it. Right? What do he say unto the wicked? What has thou do to to declare my statues? This is this is what this is why we bring these scriptures out. This particular scriptures out now. This should go to and all, to our people, but this um uh, this particular scripture here, uh this particular scripture here, you can utilize this for people. Other nations who have taken on uh, these scriptures and perverted it for their hidden agenda. Okay, now this is Psalm 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most I saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statue? Statues are that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my, uh, my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him. And what is it? Who is this thief that Moab is consenting with? Esau Edom. The elite is pushing all types of wickedness and perversion on the planet Earth. And these other nations, chiefly east of Moab, is with it. Right? Surveillance in the people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, changing the most highest word. People think, consider that's a light thing as well. That's not a light thing, man. You know? Condoning all types of wickedness on the planet Earth. You know? Putting the people, their people under subjection. And you gotta think, there's, there's a lot of, uh, Israelites over there from Western, uh, uh, Western Africa that's, that's, that's being, you know, ostracized in society over there too. You know, oppressing our people over there. Some of them are Israelites. Okay. They're going to be judged for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be judged for that, man. Okay. So they're consenting with this thief over here. Not to mention the, the you know, the various stereotypes that they, you know, uplift about us, man. Masons are very, very, very racist, you know, and I use that word loosely, you know what I'm saying, because really ain't nothing wrong for them, them being racist, being for their people, you know, but they're very, uh, that's what I'm looking for, um, oppressive when it comes to our people. Moa has a disdain for us, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dressed in blackface and everything. They love it, okay, and they take they they got that from the ideology of us being us, uh, idiots, you know, dummies, you know, from Esau Edom. So they that's another way in which they could uh, consider with a with a thief, okay. And because of that, they're gonna be judged by the heavenly Father, man. You know, everybody has a problem with us, man. Okay. Man, let me as I'm speaking. Let me. I'm, I'm thinking about this particular one. Let me show this to you guys, man. 
check this out. I couldn't find the one I was thinking about. It was years ago, but check this out. Hey, China, no, hey, <laughs> hey, they know how. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> the motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Excuse my language. That was funny, man. Hey, but you know what though? We gonna clear your ass too when we get our we get in our motherfucking room and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good, you know. But they consider it with uh, you know, the stereotypes of of the West. You know, they consider it with thieves. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know that skit was basically. That was a, a a show going into um, the uh, the the China uh, the Chinese, you know, uh, building the infrastructure of uh, uh, of West Africa, which you know a lot of those a lot of, a lot of those areas over there, you know, is inhabited by Israelites. Okay, in particular, uh, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, Gambia. Okay. Zimbabwe, all right, West more central, you know, but it's, you know it's kind of close to the west, okay. So yeah, they gonna hey, you know, you gonna get yours too, man. All right, but let's get back to the scriptures. Back to the scriptures. It says, uh, Psalm fifty and eighteen. When thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him. Um, and has been partaker with uh, adulterous, uh, uh, adulterous, adulterous, it's like it. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue framest deceit. Yeah, that's also a lot of deceitfulness is, is coming out of, you know, saying again, the age culture. And, and really, you could go into the, the various loans that is given uh, Africa. You know, these loans are called really New York colonialism because, you know, they're, they're putting. The, the, the so a lot of these African countries uh, in um, in position of servitude with these loans. You know, the loans probably have very high interest rates, and, and and really, you know, this is a tactic of an economic hitman. You know, to give these various countries loans, these developing countries loans, they really can't pay back, and so they would have to cut deals uh, with these various uh, loans to take up to take. You know, they're natural resources, okay? All right? Verse uh, 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. And we use that for Esau, Edom, and Russell. Russell, this is going into... Um, this is going into uh, uh, really the wicked of, of our nation. But you utilize this again, this particular scripture for Moab, because... Moab is in fact Shemitic. Okay. They're Shemitic. They're distant cut, if you will, distant cousins of us. Alright. These things hast thou done, and I have kept silence. That thou thoughtest that I are together such as one as thyself, but I will re reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. That's right, so. When we are glorified, when we sit in our land, when, you know, when how shall we turn to the word ignorant because Jesus Christ, man, we're going to set things in order. You know, you're not going to, uh, you know, Moab is not going to take on the ways of the Western culture, so he's not going to pollute its land greatly. Because when the last, what, 60, 50 years of them taking on, uh, you know, the customs of, again, of Esau, Edom, you know, they have greatly polluted that land and also they put the, the mass, the, the, the people under subjection, you know, and also to move away from uh, agriculture, uh, uh, agricultural um, economy. They actually caused mass starvation, I want to say in the 60s, 
to move into the more of an, an industrial uh, economy. So they uh, mis uh, displaced millions of people, put a lot of people, their own people, into somewhat of a concentration camp. Look, look yourself for yourself, and also caused a massive, uh, a, a massive famine in the land. You know what I'm saying? All to compete with the West, to, to uh, really adapt uh, their economy to the West's economy. Okay, so when we get back in order, man, you know, when the Most High uplift us, man, we are going to have it to where, you know, the mindset of the capitalists is, is going to be destroyed. You know, it's not going to be uh, communism; it's going to be a theocracy. And the most high is going to upgrade it so we we will have total understanding on how to rule and govern this earth under the Hawa by Shun Hawa Shah. Okay? That's what a lot of people are scared to say. Okay, that's why they're very accommodating and say, oh, everybody can be saying, no. It's for the elect of the Israelites, man. So called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and also. Uh, Brothers and sisters that have been scattered abroad that look like other nations that are, in fact, uh, Israelites, Israelite foreigners. We have brothers in the Philippines that's calling on the name of Yahweh by Shem Shadis. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, it's part of that elect. Okay, so we 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 almost out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're almost out of here, man. We're going to be uplifted. You know, and you, and you guys... You know, saying more bites, man. You're gonna be put under subjection. All right. So, giving our praise to my heavenly Father's name is Jehovah Bishop. No shout, but some crocodiles, the bonds, the apostles, as well. Peace, me, salutation. I come to you, Shalom.